Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you if you have a need of combining the multiple column values like in this case I am showing segment, category and subcategory. If you have a requirement where you want to combine the unique values from each, uh, from each of these columns into a one single distinct column or a distinct table then how you can do that. Previously I have shown it how you can do it from one column. In this video I will show you how you can do it from multiple columns. So if you see over here all of these columns are present in this table. So category is here which is present here. You have the segment down below PQRS segment is over here and then you have subcategory which is further down below over here. So this scenario is uh, something useful, you know, um, in, in business uh, sort of a dashboard or any dashboard that you are creating where this specific need is coming and you want to combine, let's say you want to have one filter. You don't want to show three different filters, but just one single filter and, you know, people are or folks are filtering from one single filter, not just three different filters, right? So that can be an optimization use case that you can have. So how do you need to do that? Uh, in, in this scenario is something which I will show you in a minute. So before that if you are on my channel from the very first time then you should know that all of my Power BI videos are on YouTube and also in a Google Sheet so that you can easily uh, view that. So this is a Google Sheet where I keep all of my video. Link is present in the description over here. Title is present for each of the videos and the link is present in column B. That way you can come over here uh, by bookmarking this whenever you need any uh, tutorial need or any specific scenario which I have covered you feel like you want to revisit that again or you want to search it you come here search it over here jump on to the video from here like all of these folks are doing over here right now. So this is for your convenience link is present in description feel free to use it for your advantage. All right with that let's move back to Power BI. All right, so here we are in Power BI. We have a use case that we want to combine the distinct values from each of this, uh, or each of these ones uh, field and produce a new table. So for that, what I'll do is I'll go over here in data view. In data view under the home, I'll click on the new table. In the new table, what I'll say is combined distinct values. Maybe that's the one. So for now, what I can do is very easily use the distinct function and I can use what do I have is segment right so what it will going to give me is the segment values over here but now I need multiple columns right and this is where the problem starts for a beginner or even for an experience like how do I do that so for that what we will going to use is the function called union because union what it does it append the value from one in from one table to another table so union and then we will say distinct and in distinct we will provide the category so we have category now as you can see I can provide as many numbers as I want so table 3 is my distinct and subcategory and I'm done right so with that if I just press enter if you see now all of the values are present here now it may be a scenario so first thing first is we achieved what we wanted right all the values are in one single place if let's say you know like i said there is a scenario where you want to filter it by one value or multiple values you can you can do that with the help of this table now the scenario is that if let's say you have some values in segment which is also present in category in this case not possible but maybe a possibility in your case you have the duplicate values so what do you want you want again after from these distinct value for those overlapping values you want final table to just have distinct value right so what you can do is you can come over here and simply say distinct right and come up, finish that up from here and finally what you will going to get is the distinct values in case there is an overlapping or a duplicate values in any of these three columns so we looked at not just one but two different use cases first we combined the three column values into one by taking distinct but in those scenario i have also explained that if you have duplicate values in category or subcategory then you can also take distinct by wrapping entire output in distinct so i hope you found it useful very quick solution i provided and hopefully now you will be able to use it in your work with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic